My favorite items in my office are my capulanas. They're like sarans, but or skirts, and that's how they're used most often. Uh, but they also serve many other purposes. You can tie a baby to your back with the capulanas. You can put all of your dirty laundry in the in the capulana and carry it to the river. You can. Um, put multiple layers of capulanas on and then tie your change into a little pocket that you make so that you have your own purse. I've seen many, many different uses of capulanas throughout the areas where I work in Mozambique. Basically, they're pieces of cloth with really distinct patterns on them. And some of the real up-and-coming fashion designers out there in Southern Africa are using capulanas in different ways as in some of their new designs, so there's been a great expansion of, of interest in capulanas. My interest is a bit more in the political side of capulanas and how they're used in performances or marches, and so one of my favorite ones was from a march in 2008 in Zambezia, and it was sponsored by the Organization for Mozambican Women, and so OMM has been in existence for a very long time trying to assert women's um, right to lead and also access to health care and any number of issues in the country. And one of their um, main heroines is Josina Michelle, and she was the first wife of the first president of Mozambique, Samora Michelle. And so you often find Capulanas on April 7th, which is commemorating her death, her very early death in uh, 1971. Um, you'll see them with her face on the capulana and then commemorating the date of, of celebration. And I have several of these. This one's from 2009. And a lot of the girls in the rural areas are can't wait to get their capulanas with Justina Michelle on them and find out what the new pattern is going to be for that year. Sometimes they have regional differences, so this one was from the province where I do some of my research. And there's also, there's a range of qualities of the cloth, and so you can, how well they tie really depends on that, that quality. I'm still trying to figure out how to tie them properly. I'm always being corrected locally <laughs> by my hosts. And I, you can't, as a woman, really work in rural areas in Mozambique without wearing capulanas as a sign of respect and just as a sign of fitting in in, in the area. And so I'm constantly wearing them and constantly being told how to make them fit better or adjust them. Uh, and you dance a lot with them. And also, the main leading political party for Limo, you, whenever they want to have an election campaign or they want to get folks mobilized, they distribute capulanas with the party logo on them to try to get people that, that visible performance of the presence of whatever your cause is out there in society. So they're very political. Uh, they're not just... Uh, purely practical and so for me they're very interesting and I always like to have them in my office to remind me of all the times that I was walking to the river in the forest in Mozambique to wash my clothes with, with women or uh, dancing in the streets commemorating Mozambican Women's Day.